Hey, how's it going, everybody? This is Rigo Avila, and today I'm going to be going through my track titled Origin out of January 14th on Immersion Cities. In this video, I'm going to be walking you through the most important parts of the track, things like the baseline, breakdown, and saw drop. The reason for that is that I don't want this video to be going on forever, so that's why I'm only covering those three things. In the future, I plan to do a more detailed walkthrough where I actually explain the how and the why, why I chose certain sounds, how I actually approach layering, etc., etc. But for now, let's go ahead and get started with this. Let's go ahead and get started with my bass drop. Typically, when it comes to bass drops, I actually prefer to work in audio instead of MIDI. When working in audio, you can see exactly what's going on in every single clip, and it gives you a lot more control. I also like to be able to cut out reverb tails, which I generally have to automate if I'm working in MIDI, which works too, but I like being able to see the final product right here. I get to see everything that's going on. Also, another thing to note is down here I have a support group, and the point of the support group is to add a bit extra spice and groove to the main baseline group. Support group's actually simple, but what's inside of the support group is actually simple. I just have a couple of vocal verses right here, I have a little down suite that you're going to hear in a moment, and I also have these two toms that just add groove in between the main bass lines. The reason why it's in a separate group is because I don't want the side chain on the bass line bus to be affecting the support group, because it'll throw everything out of sequence. Anyways, let's go ahead and solo each sound so you can hear exactly what's going on. Alright, so now the breakdown. So the breakdown is actually the first thing I'll create whenever I start a new project. And the reason why is because the breakdown is essentially the entire melodic core for the track going forward, depending on what key you pick. Also, generally things you have in your breakdown can also be thrown into other sections of your track, like your intro. For example, some of the ambience that I have here in my breakdown actually occurs right off the bat of my intros. This is something I like to do because I find familiarity a really nice concept to have in music. So the first thing I do is create my chord progression. I'll generally do this either from scratch or I'll have a very basic MIDI progression already made. What I mean by this is generally I have a bunch of triads which are progressions I like, but I actually don't like the chord structure. So what I do is I go ahead and edit it drastically. I'll go ahead and move notes up and down, add voicing, suspend chords, etc. Another very important part of a breakdown is the atmosphere and ambience that follows. Generally, pads and strings are very emotional, but they don't move a whole lot. So in order to complement this with movement, I like to add things like vocal chops, Vocal atmosphere, chimes with lots of reverb and delay, natural sounds like rain, field recordings, etc. But anyways, let's go ahead and solo each sound so you can hear exactly what's going on.
So lastly, the saw drop. So whenever I create my saw drop, I'll generally just copy and paste whatever MIDI my pads and strings are playing, then make some minor tweaks for the sake of interest. Also, the voicing is extremely important in these drops. There's a really good YouTube video titled Injuna Super Saw Tutorial from a guy named DJ Vu. He essentially explains why it's important how many voicings your chords have. I really recommend checking this video out, as he can explain it a lot better than I could. Also, another really important element of this drop is the mid bass. Believe it or not, the mid bass is what carries most of the power in these drops. So about a year and a half ago, I took a master class from a guy named Declan James and Lychee. They both explained that your mid bass is actually a lot more important than your saws, and if you have a really clean, well-processed mid bass, then your saws will generally always sound good. So anyway, since this drop has a lot to it, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so that was a little bit of my track origin. Now I know it wasn't very detailed, but I really didn't want this video to go on forever and ever as I mentioned before. I just wanted to give you a look behind the important parts of the song, so please feel free to shoot me any questions on Facebook at Regal Music, and I'll answer everything the best I can about my song. Also give me some tips and tricks about anything you might be interested in. Thanks for checking out my video, and make sure to pick up my tune Origin out January 14th right here on Immersion Cities.